Alright fellow YouTubers, today I'm going to show you how to clean bolt action rifles. I'll first talk about how to, uh, what type of weapon I have here is a Remington 710 and 30-06. I'm going to shot that one uh, today at the gun range. This is my Stevens Model 310 and uh, 17HMR, very accurate. Uh, you know, I'm going to show you how to, uh, shoot, uh, to clean bolt action rifles. But I'll show you also one of my favorite ones, my Marlin uh, 336 35 Remington. Very good gun. Uh, but anyway, I just have this one out here to show you guys. Well, first, um, before we proceed, you want to make sure that the guns are unloaded and it's safe to clean it. So how you do that, how you do that on a bolt action rifle? You first uh, take the bolt out. Like so on this Remington. See? And this gun is safe to clean. So you put the bolt right there, and also with the Stevens, take the magazine out, and take the bolt out. And now we're ready to clean the guns. So the first thing I want to talk to you about is supplies. Supplies you need oil and powder solvent. First use powder solvent. Uh, I'm using hops. You can get this at uh, Walmart. You can get hops and Remington. That's all you need. Uh, they have like uh, cases of uh, gun cleaning kits that ha that comes with it. Ten, fifteen, or twenty dollars. You only need a ten dollar one if you clean rifles. Uh, another thing you need is a rod. It's an aluminum rod, and with these uh, plastic tips here to hold the patches. Um, this is, make sure it's plastic because when you're cleaning, you don't want and inside of the bore, you don't want a metal tip going inside the metal bore. So I strongly recommend you use plastic tips um, and Q-tips to clean the inside of your, uh, to hard to reach places and a cloth and also a brush. Uh, I strongly recommend you get the ones that are hard plastic and you can run that down. But if you only have the metal brushes, just run it through once. That's all you need. But like I said, plastic tips going down the the bore of any bore rifle, I strongly recommend you just use plastic tips. And for handguns, you can get this nylon or plastic uh, cleaner here. And just this is very safe. It's, it's you can just clean that bore. You can run that through like five times. It's not going to do any damage on the inside. But anyway, that's for a handgun. Well, the first thing you want to do is get the powder solvent. I'm going to clean my Remington since I pretty much shot that one quite a bit. I want to apply a little bit to a patch. And these patches you can also get. At Walmart, a couple of bucks, or they come with a cleaning kit, a gun cleaning kit, like eight, ten dollars, fifteen dollars. Anyway, so the first thing you do is once you have some powder uh, solvent uh, uh, on there on the patch, you're ready to proceed to clean it. So insert it this way, and all the way to the end, and make sure it goes all the way to the end. Then push it back through here again. Do it a couple of times if you want to. One and all the way out. And then you want to take it off and you want to put the brush on here. So attach that and then run it through here again like this. There you see. Now if it was a metal one, I strongly recommend only once and take it off there, but this is plastic. You, can, you only need to do it once or twice anyway. And you take it off again then apply the patch put it through again and a couple more times see how black that is? it's taking all the powder out uh, then you want to change a new patch this is a 30 out 6 so this uh, plastic tip is for 30 calories you got a 22 rifle use a 22 caliber uh, plastic tip but make sure they're plastic only plastic inside the bore so let's try it again. One. And out. Yeah, it's pretty dirty, so you can do it a couple of times. So you can repeat this process as much as you want. And change the, the old patch, put a new, another one on. And one thing I do after a couple of times, I use some oil. Like I say, hops, the Remington, they, they have all different kinds of oil cleaners. I apply some to a little patch here. And run it through one more time to put some oil and, and lubricate it or protect it from any rust. You do it a couple of times. That's it. And you want to run that through this way, not not through the other end. 
The other end you can damage, if you run it through this way, you can damage the crown over time. But I mean, a lever action, you can't get away with that. You gotta, you gotta put it through. And they also have just wood uh, uh, rods, which I should get from my lever action rifle. But this is a bolt action. It's, you can just run it through like this. All right, uh, repeat that process for the other rifles. The one thing I, I like to do on this is uh, use Q-tips. Q-tips work really good. Get those hard to reach places. See? Now the inside, inside of, all the way up to the, where the bullet goes in the chamber you can clean with these suckers. And I like to make sure I get oil all over to protect it so there's no rust anywhere where there's gunpowder, you know, possibly it could go through. I'm going to take the magazine out here, put some more on the inside, see, put some on the magazine. I mean, you can clean this gun an hour, do whatever you want. Okay, you can apply as much, I mean, as much as you want. And one more thing you want to do is put some oil on a rag or a piece of cloth. You want to you want to clean the barrel, see, like that. You can, like I said, you can repeat that process as much. So now we're going to take the Stevens. I've already showed you how to do do it with the rod, but we're going to take a Q-tip and we're going to clean this guy here. Get all I'll protect the metal here from any rust, corrosion. You know, in Florida, you leave a gun out, boy, and you forget. Or even if you go out into in the yard, you forget, and you're going hunting or something, boy, the rust can get on here quickly. So you definitely want to protect. Again, get a piece of cloth and wipe down the barrel. Like so now I'm doing this fast. You know, I'm only I only have seven minutes or so. Uh, take an hour to clean your gun, so I sometimes take an hour to clean three of these. <laughs> take time, you know, it's like an investment. Clean the magazine. And then, you want to clean the bolt. The bolt mechanism. A little bit more oil. You want to clean the bolt like this, so... Make sure you get every part. Get another little Q-tip. Get those hard to reach places here with the, put some apply some oil on it. And make sure that you have uh, no rust anywhere. Even the little parts. These Q-tips are great even for handguns. I mean you can clean a handgun really well with this. People, people charge you to clean a gun. You can clean this just as well with these Q-tips. Any kind of Q-tips. Yeah. So like that. Same thing with the the Stevens model. When I get a new piece of cloth, you know, but I'll clean these guns again after I get done, but I'm just trying to show you how to get a new Q-tip, apply a little bit of oil, get it around there, and like so. This will ensure that your rifle stays in excellent condition time and time after you go to gun range or a hunting trip or Anyway, well there you go. And that's pretty much how you clean a rifle. So.